The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Eagles and the Dolphins, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 23. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Miami Dolphins. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when the regular season begins? I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. Here's the putter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Miami. This taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts got the green light as a starter from the Philly organization and took really good steps as the next in line of mobile quarterbacks in the city, following names like Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb, and Randall Cunningham. He led the team in all quarterbacks in the NFL in rushing, and he took Philadelphia to the postseason while throwing for over 3,000 yards. They'll start on the ground with Swift, and he's not going anywhere to start tonight. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. Hurts, open man, that's Devontae Smith. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Sets up to throw it. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Gets past one man. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 36. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Here's Hurts to throw. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays at this contest. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. 
to throw here. Under pressure, they got him again. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and have to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they got to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And here comes the Miami offense now, and it's the southpaw in his third season at the wheel for the Fins. Quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. For the second consecutive season, Tua's a starter, and Miami's a team. Both had winning records, but missed the playoffs. His numbers, they weren't terrific. Only 2,600 yards and 16 touchdowns against 10 interceptions. But he also overcame fractured ribs early in the season to return and play well down the stretch. And don't forget, when he did come back, he led Miami to six straight wins, which kept them in the playoff race. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. First carry for Raheem Mostert. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays and kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. some hot water now after that sack it's second and 21 from the gun it's hurts and this all oh, incomplete he tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked now on third and long they'll look to throw and he's gonna go down back at his own five yard line it's a sack Emmanuel Agba. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. Well, how about this? A fistful of sacks already. We're not even out of the first quarter yet. What an incredible start for this defense. If they keep this pace up, they could be looking at an all-time performance. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> On second down, Moster. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Throwing now is Chunga Vailoa. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Tua. This goes to the tight end, Eric Sauber. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. To throw again on second down, Tua. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And a short gain here, down to the 22. On second and nine, Tua. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So not only do you not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And he missed it. He missed it just wide of that left upright. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And partner, a lot of kickers in this spot like to aim at the right upright and just draw it back down to center. This one looked like it was aimed at the left upright and just kept bending away. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. Hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what your hope is that you figure out, and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Throwing his hurts. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators, and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Here's Hill on the return. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. 
Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. And now Mostert is going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there at one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And here's Jake Bailey now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. On oh, the return is Ward. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. On first down, Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run out of the gun with Swift. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. On second and nine, Hurts. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. 
Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back up in the front. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Miami set to take over. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Play action, now it's Tua. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. A handoff running left is Mostert. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, that's it. Tua sets up to pass it. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long, thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here's Ward to return. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kid who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. First down and they go with Swift again. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Eagles on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Looking to pass to him. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. 
And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll set up a throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Once again, it's Mostert. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves them with seven yards to go on third down. Now Tua. He's going to air one out. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And yeah, the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. That one in the books as a 64-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. On second and seven, Hurts. He's got Smith here. They'll try and run here with Swift. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's Aaron Sipos now. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Dolphin football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Yeah, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Brandon Graham in there to get him. It's a loss of five. 
These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. On third and long, it's Tug of Iloa. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Taken in at the 22. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. From the gun, it's Hurts. It's caught, Smith. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate, Smith, for an eagle first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. On first and 10, it's Swift. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Second down, here's Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The Eagles on third down. A pretty anemic, a very anemic. One for nine thus far. This is third and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. And this one complete to Smith. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, And he's got a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Hurts. He's got Watkins on the out route. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. To throw again on second down. Hurts, flush to his right, and he'll just get rid of it. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. From the 17, Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown from 17 yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. 
On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. On oh, the return is Ward. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And as the offense begins another drive here, a pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing his hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. Four yards remain for second down. Hurts. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. And down he goes again. A bevy of sacks in less than a half. But this defense is still losing the game. They've got to fix something because there should be no excuse for losing with an effort like this on that side of the ball. They need to take advantage when their defense is generating this kind of pressure so early in the game. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. On third down, here comes Swift. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Aaron Sipos on to punt as he'll get this one away now. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. 
That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Buying time to it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On is Jake Bailey to send this one away. Here's Ward to return. So possession goes over here on the punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Week three of the preseason is here. Everyone wrapping up their exhibition schedule. No games for the league on Labor Day weekend. And then it all begins. The 17-game regular season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Tua. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. So that, Charles, may be the play that this defense has been looking for. They've hung in there, and if they lose this game, it won't be from a lack of effort on their part. The key question is, can the offense finally do something because we're into the third quarter, and a zero is still glowing on the scoreboard. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field, and they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. After the turnover, it's Tua. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and another sack to his ledger there. 
It looked like they were trying to get him outside there, but this defense had different plans. Yeah, they really had an outside-in kind of a pass rush. It's almost like when you're covering a punt, you can't let him get to the outside and get to the sideline. You force him to stay in the middle of the field, and they did exactly that and made the play. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Here's Tua. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. to three. Well, The three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense to get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll set up to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. And connecting quickly with Goddard. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 46. Now a give right side Swift. And he'll work down inside the 45. From the 44, Hurts. Open man has got her at the tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. 
They'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. On the option to give to Swift here. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Penny he is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Swift is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Now from back at the five. This is third and goal. They'll look to throw here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 17-3. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, so many times we see the crossing here to start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Tua. Pass incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They hand it off to Mostert. Now they're able to swarm him behind the line and his rough night continues. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. 
And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. On second and nine. Hurts looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. On the option to give to Swift here. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, They'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Hurt. And he's going to go down again. Emmanuel Agba in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. But tell the statistician to add another one to their impressive total today. Great week for the defensive front. A tough one for that offensive line. Quarterback getting right back behind that line, hoping for more time to attempt a likely third down pass. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Back to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. A crazy sequence here. A huge game that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain. Still a ways to go, though. The Eagles send out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That's complete over the middle to Anderson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Solid way to start to drive 13 yards, picking up the first. A run with Mostert up the middle. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. 
Second down, here's Mostert again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick, his second sack of the night. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 yards for number 11. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. On second down, Swift. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. On the option to give to Swift here. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now in Miami as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No, they'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement, and off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy, the other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Well, this is getting ridiculous. Eight sacks now. That time, multiple guys get to it. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. On third down, here's Wilson. And able to get a little more breathing room out to the five-yard line. 
It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation. So they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Oh, the return is Scott. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And out will come the offense as they take over. And out now come the Eagles. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On second and nine, Mariota. They set up the screen to Penny. Give them five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. To throw is Mariota. He'll get this to Ward. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Penny, a first down carry. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef, they want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Mariota. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Mariota. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. From the 38, White. He'll swing this out wide to Gaskin. Now White. And that is incomplete. You gotta give some credit. They're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. And he gets it away, and it's a laser headed for the sidelines. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. 
Here's Mariota. And this one is incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll try to run for it with Penny. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Mariota now to throw on first down. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkle. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it was hard for anyone to react. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. That one good for 26 and a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Mariota. Got a man. That's Ward. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Penny. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Throwing on second and eight. Mariota. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. On third down, Mariota. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 31, White. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. White looks to throw. They get this out wide to Gaskin. 
And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. On first and 10, White. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. On first down, it's White. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Now White with a first down throw. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw over the middle complete. That's Connor. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Second down, this is Wilson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Now White. He'll leave that one for Gaskin. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Here's White. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. River Craycraft from eight yards out. And the Dolphins are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Eagles' hands team able to cover it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Mariota to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. To throw Mariota. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. It is fielded right at the goal line, and he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So the Dolphins now down on the scoreboard, 2.15 remaining. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. White. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. From the 27, White. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. To throw, White. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. 
As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And able to connect with Barrios. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. On first and 10, White. That's caught by Wilson. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Throwing again on second down. White firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Now, worth reminding at this point, no overtime in the preseason. But that may not come into play here in a two-score game late. They'll look to throw again. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He'll find his man. That's Freddie Swain. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. Going for it all. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Greedy Williams picks it off. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Mariota with a knee to the ground, and that should be it. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done.